Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are sewing together the third chunk of my current t-shirt quilt. And we are starting with this cute little applique patchwork heart design that I purchased on Etsy. Isn't that cute? We're jumping right in today and we're going to start with the two left blocks on the left side of block 28. Right now, uh, all of the unsewn pieces are teal in color. And we are working with the two small blocks on the left side of block 28. Once those are done, I'm going to color them blue. And I thought today uh, I would just keep up the whole grid on the screen so you can follow along. So now we're going to attach the blue section, what we just sewn together, to block 28. That seam is exactly the same size, and so we'll throw some pins in there. And I would take that over and sew and press and come back. So now you'll see that that whole block is shaded blue. Now I want you to look under the blue section. We have a picture of Miss Everly. And underneath of Miss Everly, we have block 24. And I want to focus today on this partial seam in this quilt. A group of blocks surround Everly's picture in a partial seam. So we're going to flip Everly's picture over on top of block 24. And we are only sewing part of this seam. I'm going to sew from the edge until I get to the two pins. The rest of the seam we're going to leave open. So coming back, you'll see now that Everly's picture and the block below it is shaded purple. Those are joined together. We're going to connect that to the block one, which is on the left. That seam now is the same size. So we can flip that over onto block one and throw some pins in there. The green stars on the grid represent open seams to this point in our quilt top. So we're going to sew that seam, press that, and come back. And you'll just now see that that group is now shaded purple. And you'll notice the purple group and the blue group above it have the same size seam. So I'm going to flip over onto the purple, the blue group above it. And we're going to pin that seam nice and straight. And I will take that over and sew that and press it as well. As I'm going along, I just like to make sure that all of my seams stay as nice and straight as possible. <laughs> and I try to keep everything very well lined up. So we are just working our way right around that picture. That picture is going to be in the middle of a group of blocks. I'll go sew that and come back. So I've shaded this whole section blue now. So that's all one portion of the quilt. We still have that open seam right at the bottom of Everly's picture. So we're going to set that aside for a second and we're going to focus on block 22 and a little flower embroidery that I did. And I got that on Etsy as well. I'll put a link to that down below. This is going to be the fourth open or partial seam in our quilt right here because you see these two blocks are not the same width. So I'm going to throw two pins in there representing a stop mark for myself. And I'm going to take this over and sew right to the two pins. So we have that open seam there. It's indicated by a green star on the grid now. And these two blocks that I just did the seam, I've indicated as purple on the grid. So you notice the purple group and the blue group has a seam 
that is exactly the same length. So I'm gonna flip under or flip over the extra part of the blue block that extends beyond that embroidery and I'm gonna pin that in place. And now I can pin together the purple section to the blue section. Just keeping everything nice and lined up. Anytime you have some open seams, uh, it's real easy to get a little wonky in the sewing. So just be really mindful that you're keeping these seams nice and straight. Again, we're sewing from the top of block 28 to the bottom of Everly's picture. And there's a little green star there. The blue portion has been flipped over and out of the way. And now we can bring this over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew this seam right here. Now coming back, we're gonna complete this partial seam, this open seam, right underneath of Everly's picture and the flower embroidery. And we're gonna do that by flipping up the bottom section of the blue patch and pinning together those open sections of the seam. So we're still at this point, we haven't exactly completed the purple patch connecting it to the blue. We are sewing right from the picture to the edge of the seam and you'll see me pointing to it right here on the grid. Now this will actually complete our first completed partial seam. So I am going to bring you to the sewing machine as we do this one. I'm just really anchoring down these blocks really well. So nothing is shifty as I sew this seam. So let me show you, we're going to bring this over to the sewing machine. There's the partial seam we've already sewn. We're going to complete that seam all the way to the edge of these pieces. So at the sewing machine, I have my quarter inch seam allowance set. I'm gonna start at the edge of these pieces. Trying to keep everything as nice and straight as I can. The more accurate you are with your seam allowances on these kinds of quilts, the easier time you're gonna have all of these pieces fitting together. Now you'll see that partial seam is starting to approach the needle. Remember how we did a back stitch to lock that in place? We're gonna pass that back stitch just by a little bit and sew right into that existing partial seam. And then to lock it in place, I'll do a couple back stitches and remove it from the sewing machine. And that completes our first completed partial seam of this quilt. So before we press this, let's remove the pins and just take a look at what we just grouped together. This seam right here is what we just finished. And now I'll go give this a good press and we'll come right back. So now we are working with one big blue section with one open seam right in, right below block 22. 
I've decided I'm going to add the Vermont map that I embroidered. I also got this on Etsy, which was an awesome find. I'll put a link down in the description box if you're interested in that. We're going to add the Vermont map to the right side of block 22. I'm going to tell you, I had so much fun shopping for different embroidery designs uh, for this quilt. I got really lucky with this design. I did not know that they had different states. So that was fun. So I'm going to take this over and sew that seam. And then we'll come back. And so you'll see block 22 is now, or the Vermont map is now blocked in blue, like the rest of this chunk of quilt. And uh, I've decided to add block 15 to the right side of the Vermont map. That seam is exactly the same size. And so we're going to pin that in place. I hope having the grid on the screen the full time has uh, been helpful to see the progression of sewing these blocks together. And now you'll see block 15 is colored blue. And now we have one solid chunk, the blue chunk of quilt. And it just does fit in the camera a little bit. So this is the blue chunk of quilt. We have one open seam in this portion of the quilt top. And this is where we are as we're leaving off for today. I'll pull the grid up on the, up on the screen. This is where we are. Everything in teal still needs to be sewn together. And I look forward to seeing you soon as we approach piecing another chunk together soon. Bye everybody.